Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Hunt the Pale Gods, a cosmic horror roguelike deck building tactics game that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. In, we're gonna go to see what it's all about. All right, we got a couple different starter characters here. I believe it said the full game was gonna have nine, which is kind of wild. The Fisherman John Lungain. A lover claimed by the sea, shadowy figures in the storm. It was no accident. Now, the only thing that remains is vengeance and oblivion. We've got anchor slam and fishing net. Engrave ring the first time the enemy is staggered. Get five HP and draw two cards. Okay, we'll figure out what that means as we get in. Awaken child. You turn your gaze inland. The only thing you can see is the glow of a pale light. The hunt begins. Gain 50 insight, lose 20 HP, and banish a card. Three max stagger, gain 200 insight. I mean, let's just recall the night, I suppose. Seems like a nice one to figure out what's happening. You must select one path choice to proceed. Most paths lead into battle. The type of enemy is defined by the path choice. The card rewards you'll be offered are also based on the path choice. Okay. Uh, I want to go to purple. A battle will consist of rounds and turns. Every round you get your turn first, and then your enemy activates. During your turn, you can play any card from your hand. You always know what the enemy will do on their turn, shown by the active card. There, I guess. Battle ends once you or the enemy reach zero HP. Simple enough there. Okay. Whenever you play a card, add one anathema to your discard pile. Last one turn. Okay. So we just have, we have strike and we have a move. Whenever you play a card, add one anathema to your discard. I mean, do we want to do that right now? Or do we want to, since we can't get in range of you to strike, I guess maybe we just say whatever. Deal 8 arcane damage, move 1, and then do 8 arcane damage is interesting as well. We have move, trudge. So we have, this is like a worse movement card because it just costs more. I'm sure we'll have ways to remove it in the future. Deal 10 damage and stagger. Stagger 1. Apply X stagger to the target when their stagger meter is full. Gain staggered, which will make them receive 50% more damage and deal 50% less. They also lose an agility. Okay, so you are going to be doing a lot of damage into this area. We have one, two, three, four that we would need to move. I guess, okay, we have five stamina. We could go for a one, two. Yeah, we can't, uh, we cannot get in and then get out. We might as well throw the fishing net, though, I guess. Moving is your main way of avoiding damage and positioning yourself to attack. You can move the full distance or step by step. Clicking on the same space as you ends the movement action. You can also use the quick movement UI that appears when playing a card. It can be turned off in these settings. Okay. Well, okay, so we don't even have to move in. I guess we kind of want to just chill in place if we're not going to be able to get in and then get out. Are you going to come towards me? You start each combat with your deck of cards. They all start in your draw pile in random order. At the start of your turn, you draw five from the draw pile. Familiar stuff. End of the turn, all unused cards are placed into discard. When your draw pile is empty, you must draw a card. Discard is shuffled. The, just basically the standard version there. What is this? Altar of Fracture. Oh my. On entry, apply eight stagger. Player only gain insight. So we're probably going to get a way to like push enemies in, I'm sure. We could fishing net, move in, smack it. Move one to 20 arcane damage is kind of wild. So I think, God, I just don't know how to get in safely. I mean, we might as well just keep on chilling outside of the radius though. There's no danger yet. Lose one agility for two turns. Okay, so we would lose a lot of movement actions. 
All right, I will note we are not going to be able to get out of this, so we will have to take the hit. So we're going to move in, and then we're going to strike, which costs nothing, I guess. And that's the bar. I don't think that we're going to need to worry about this. Well, we are we are about to reshuffle. I think it's okay if we draw one one garbage card. What is this? Gain 5 HP and then 10 HP over the next two turns and add an anathema to your draw pile. Gain 10 armor, 2 strength, 1 arcane, move 1. So here's your stagger. Here's the question I have. The stagger is probably just for like one turn, right? So do we want to... Do we want to not stagger? I don't think it's going to matter, right? Oh, no, our character draws cards, though. Both you and your opponents have a stagger meter. When it's filled, it causes the staggered state, which affects damage dealt, damage received, and movement. All attack actions cause one stagger if they do at least one damage. All right, so we can actually probably... Yeah, we can kill here. Because we got the three-card draw from our... All right, I got to say. Yeah, yeah, we started with a deck of... Ext Extremely simple cards, but that doesn't actually mean that the game is too simplistic. There's an, some interesting ways to use those cards. So, curious to see how else. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's going to get shaken up. At the end of every battle, you're offered the, the choice to add a card to your deck. Card rewards from battles are determined by the enemy type. You can always skip. Right-click a card to inspect. So these are free. This is one energy. Do 12 arcane damage, draw a card, exile. I mean, that's just good. It does look like it's a melee attack, likely, is, if that's what that is. 10 arcane damage on hit, shift a card. Select a card from your discard pile, put it on the top of your deck. Ooh, that's pretty good. Draw a card and move one is also fantastic. Okay, so this is one of those games where, I guess aside from our, like, characters starting two themed cards, your starting deck is garbage. Like, you want to get rid of your stuff. It's it's crap. Okay, good to know. God, this is a really tough choice. I actually really like all of these. I like what Rewind can do. Like, I like the theming of it. Question mark is a special path option. Usually leads to special encounters that offer various benefits, but sometimes for a price. Rarely a battle will be hidden behind it. Or we could go here for another uh, another tussle. And we do get to see that there's another one of these up here. So if we're kind of like building out the theming. What is this? Cause three stagger on entry. So we want to scooch, scooch. Oh, this is a much better opener. Holy... Ten damage. Okay, so hold on. Ten damage and an extra, extra stagger. So theoretically, this would do two. Move one, do ten damage, push. Yeah, so that is going to be two staggers. Move one to the top. Dude, I mean, maybe fishing net? Fishing net, anchor slam. Fishing net, anchor slam. I'll get anchor slam. Oh, wait. Never mind. We have lethal. Oh, and we just would have staggered, right? Could have gotten a heal. Push five. Gain an arcane. Increase all arcane damage and ignite effects. With higher arcane, some card effects become even more potent. Exert two. At the start of your turn, discard two cards. Do we get to choose? I don't know. Destroy a random monolith within a range of two to gain a stamina. Move one and create a monolith. So it's, it is a movement card that costs one, which is um, better than trudge. It's better than trudge. And then it's this monolith thing. So this could potentially activate a different synergy, I suppose. Monolith is removed when entering a space. If it is an enemy monolith, suffer collision. Doing five damage. Okay, so we, we can like set up... We can set up things to push enemies into. Seems to be the gimmick of this setup. 
I do really like the idea of getting the arcane to potentially synergize with the other arcane cards. But I'm going to get Call Forth. It's just another cheaper movement than the two movement thing. Okay, so we'll go for the blue and then the purple. Gain five armor, move one, create a monolith on five random spaces. I hate that we don't have we didn't get the extra movement there. I mean, I guess we'll put the monolith back here. Sad. Sad day. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Destroyed on entry, you suffer collision. Move one, do ten damage, push one. I wonder if we take collision. Hold on, can we check? For every space they can't move, they suffer collision. Oh, that's actually brutal. So if you had push five, and I was right here, would it do 25? I mean, this is gonna hurt. This is going to hurt no matter what. Um. I don't really want to be in the corner. So it's kind of like, I, I'm kind of trying to think. If I'm going to be moving up, I could move down here, willingly take that collision. Since I'm going to be taking a collision anyways. Move one. 10 damage and a push. So if we go right here, we're, we're getting rid of this. And we're not going to be taking the movement. So I think that that's probably a fine thing. I mean, we might as well do the punch, I guess. Do I like this? No. I don't I don't like I don't like that. But it does put me in a better spot here. Kind of. Yeah. So we were going to be taking a collision anyways, and this way we at the very least we get that pillar out of the way, you know, which I guess we could have done a different way too. Fishing nets. I like this fishing net we get in we anchor slam i guess we rewind stagger four okay that's that's fine do we stagger you yes get the anchor slam i kind of like that oh 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 god wait that's really good Move one, exert one. It's, it's free. It's a free movement otherwise. Move and create a monolith. Gain 20 armor. Draw two cards and lose an agility for two turns. Next turn, gain two stamina. Indifference. Does armor go away at the end of a turn? Expires at the end of a turn. I gotta admit... I've got to admit, I'm, I'm impressed so far with the card design. Like, there, there's some simplistic things with, like, the board state. And, like, obviously, like, the no animations and the sliding kind of board gaming pieces. But I think that's just it. I'm a, I'm a board game enjoyer <laughs> through and through. And this feels like a really, really well thought out board game deck builder. Um, okay. 20 armor, draw two cards, lose an agility for two turns. Next turn, gain two stamina. Like, not being able to move for two turns. Presumably, lose the agility for that turn, and then the next turn. So, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, but I definitely want to grab... I mean, that's cool looking, but... I think we want to try and keep it synergistic here. Move two, do eight damage, add three anathema to your discard pile. Wait, hold on. That's danger. Shoot. I guess there's not really a reason to move in, huh?
We can move in and then indifference, but then it's like we're probably not going to be able to get in there at all. Create a monolith. I don't know. I guess I'll put it here. It doesn't I don't really have a care. Don't think we want to do this. Next turn, gain two stamina. Not right now. I want to be able to... Okay, so if I would have moved in and then done that, I think that probably would have been good. Oh, well. Eight damage for one turn. Exile one card. Wait, what? Move two, do eight damage. For one turn, exile a card. Ay ay ay. Could maybe just get indifference. Indifference might actually be a better call right now. So we have three cards in our draw pile. Hand size is what, like five? That might mean I mean yeah, indifference could be certainly good. I'll do it. Like, I can't, uh, I can't move out of the way. I'd rather just stay here so that I can throw indifference. Start position, direct range 3, do 10 damage. Select a card to exile. That one. Bring it on. Okay, so now we have just plenty of armor. Lose 3 HP? It goes through armor. I was hoping it wouldn't. <laughs> okay. We throw that here. We punch. I think we just chill. Yeah, move 0. So my big question is going to be... So, yeah, basically, it's kind of like we have it, the indifference for one turn. Ah, oh, this sucks, though. We're not going to be able to stagger. That's what I was... I was really hoping we would stagger. I'm going to go ahead and healing rune, I guess. Select a card to exile. All right. I mean, we're we're good to go. I think we want to. Oh God. Does this count? No, because we kill before we apply stagger. That's unfortunate. We didn't get the uh, the extra HP. If this card gets exiled, draw two cards and exile it. On shift, add two cosmic shards. Do four arcane damage. Exile. Add two custom shards to my hand, I hope? Okay. Draw one more card at the start of your turn. This costs two to just draw one more forever. It's pretty good. I do like the idea of the dark matter. It gives us like a pretty clear synergy there. And then... I don't know. Add, one, add two cosmic shards. Otherwise, it does nothing. So it's basically, it's two, it's two attacks if we use our shift on it. Do I really care? The glimpse, I don't have much of a reason to take it. It would be really good in that last fight. And I guess if you're always fighting, this is an interesting idea. If you're always fighting purple guys, you could be more likely probably to get use out of this too. I'm going to take Dark Matter because it has uh, clear synergy with what I'm already doing. Lanterns are special path options. You can recover lost HP or permanently remove a card from your deck. Sure. There's also the blue boy down there, too. Restore 20 HP or spend 40 insight to banish a card. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of Trudge. The two, I mean, two energy for that. Pretty exciting. And by that, I mean, pretty terrible. Okay. Sanguine Druid. Move one, do 10 damage. Stagger two. So, I definitely think we... If we moved in, if we, we did this, stagger four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't have enough to, to get you, so I think what we do is we just stay in place. Okay. And now, ideally, I... Uh, I think I move in. Call forth. We block you in. Indifference. I guess we could dark matter. Ritual cards are special card types. When played, 
they are placed out of battle. Oh, oh, this is a, um, a skill. Grant you various benefits until the end of battle. You can see your active rituals and other effects on the left-hand side of the screen of the curious. That's so much better. Oh, my lord. Okay, so whatever we get, we're going to be able to get again. So... I think we're... Eh. Like, we're going to get it next turn when we go for the big explodo. All right, so yeah, it's really just one turn of this, truthfully. All right, anchor slam. Boom. Boom. We really just want to make sure we get our heal. 20 armor, draw some cards. Really? Really? Okay. I thought I was going to draw another attack, but I guess... On hit, shift the card. There we go. For every three cards discarded, probably manually, right? Like, can't just... Let's go in one second. Uh, three cards discarded. I'm assuming... Since it's not a keyword, I'm assuming it has to be manual, though. 12 damage, stagger, and draw, uh, discard a card. Select. Okay. Move one and do eight damage is really good, though. I like that. Because it's just another, uh, it's another cheaper movement. We obviously got rid of one. Grudge fulfilled. A grudge is a list of marked enemy types. Oh, what? When all marked types are defeated, you gain a specified reward. After completing a grudge, you will gain another one. When you're not sure what path, try to... Okay, that's really cool! Hunt all of the marked prey in any order. That's really cool. That's smart. Mutate a card. Select a non-anathema card to permanently remove from your deck. Gain a random common or uncommon card of any color. Um, again, trudge is just kind of crap. Range three. Oh, hello. I wanted to. Hello. Range three, ignite eight, and shift the card. Ooh, we like shift. Ignite eight, just add eight burn. That's This is fantastic. All right, looks like we got like an elite coming up. Um, truthfully, we should probably do E, like both. This one and then do the other one next time. Love this. Love love that on first turn. Crumbling Earth at the end of the round. Mark spaces take five damage. I mean, I can't get any closer. Oh. You just, he, just, he just did it. Okay, we have Indifference. Eight HP, range three, stagger nine! Okay. So that's... Obviously not great. Okay. Considering memory to shift a card. We could get indifference again, which is kind of funny. Cosmic shard, cosmic shard. Anchor slam? Cosmic Shard, Cosmic Shard, Strike, Fishing Net, Stagger, Anchor Slam, <laughs> Indifference, I guess, again? Uh, yeah, we, we overflowed a little bit too hard there. Okay. Move one, eight damage twice, Stagger three. So we obviously, we can't move. We're going to have to get Staggered. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, no cards in the discard pile. We should have Fishing Netted first. And we obviously, we can't move out of the way, so we are going to actually have to get hit by this. It's going to be pretty painful. Like, I, I can press the movement card just to, just to vibe. I have been staggered. So we do less damage as well. Five. Nine. Oh, God. Twelve. And then we have two burn. Oh, that's not good. 
This is really not good. Because I can't move out of the way. All right. Shoot. That, that sucks. He's at 2 HP and it, since we couldn't finish him off. Yeah, we have a really good bursty build, but if you don't have uh, anything to do for the long term, you're going to have a problem. Do three damage four times on hit, gain four HP, exile. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. Curios are powerful strange artifacts. They modify and even break the rules of the game, granting you various benefits. Try and keep them in mind when selecting cards for your deck. Wait, what? What did I get? Select two cards to banish? Oh. that's what is that what the lockbox does here, I guess? If we're going to be using Indifference a lot, we actually don't need very much movement. I think we'll go for, like, that. I'm assuming that's just all that does. Immediately banish two cards. Gotcha. Definitely like this. So that was, an el that was the elite. Gotcha. All right. Well, obviously this is a little bit awkward. Getting rid of the extra movement is something. Maybe we can have you come a little bit closer to us. So, probably makes sense to use this regardless, which is annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. Because we're going to obviously be... Well, at least we're going to do a little bit of setup. Oh, my God. Come on, man. We have to actually hit to do that. Come here. He's not coming here. Okay. We can fishing net. Choose a card to shift. Uh, probably fishing net, I suppose. This does have to be in melee range, which sucks. I don't think I want to use indifference here. I don't think I want to use indifference in this situation. Oh, and then move one. So I'm assuming you're going to be moving in. Right? I'm assuming you're going to be moving in. I think I want to exile those. I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to cold draw those. Ooh, okay. Love this. Okay, 15, and then we can shift. We can probably just kill. That card exiled. Okay. That card is an exile card. Understood. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter at all, actually. Okay, I think another rewind is probably the answer, but we have to make sure we don't have empty discard piles. Yeah, let's get rewind. Okay, so we technically, we want both of these, and I think we're going to go for a heal here. Um, I don't know if I know what either of these do yet. This is clearly fire. Move two, do eight arcane damage, and ignite two. No. Wait, do we get the ignite no matter what? Mm, seems like no. Okay, so we do have charge. Move one, ignite five. On shift, add a cosmic shard. Okay, so we start with this. Fishing net, maybe? Or maybe, uh, probably anchor slam.
Get Anchor Slam back. Okay. We have Indifference again. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. We have such a wombo combo build. But if they just have a little bit too much HP, we are toast. Gain three stamina, but get two. Uh, I don't know about that. Once per turn on Anathema Exile, draw a card and move one. That's pretty good. That's a ritual. Create a monolith on three random spaces, get a stamina exile. There's nothing wrong with it. This is pretty good. And if we get a fight in which we, like, really need that, I'm going to be very happy. Lose 10 HP to gain a Primordial card. Or gain an Anathema card. Ugh. They could be exiled in a battle for a cost. I mean, I don't actively want an Anathema. 12 damage, stagger, and discard. Move one, consume a shadow on your space. Otherwise, discard two random cards. On a hit, enhance two. All other actions on this card will increase by X for this battle. Oh, I mean, this is a really good card to shift. This is a really good card to shift. Especially if I could get rid of a different attack. This is not bad as well. It's just one card that um, does two stagger, which we really, really like. But considering we can kind of juggle our cards pretty decently, I like that. And if we can, obviously, if we can find a second Vicious Strike, that's really, really good. Library is a special path option. You can gain card rewards, curios, healing runes, as well as removing cards. Mark them to always be drawn first. The library books have a high insight cost. The library might appear in a question mark path if you have a lot of insight. That being said, we could get this to... Well, to get 50 insight, I mean, I think that the demo is probably done after that. So let's see what this is like. We have 210. Gain a card reward. Okay, so these, these are card rewards from that. Gain a random curio. Permanently remove a card from your deck. I do feel like just getting rid of a strike is not a bad call. Always drawing... Um, where is it? Always drawing Dark Matter first is pretty good. Let's banish a strike. I think I kind of want to just get a, a random curio. Every 12 abilities played gain an arcane. <sighs> That's good. Oh, we're right here. I thought we were right here. Oh, 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 oh. I thought this was us. Okay. All right. Checks out, checks out, checks out. We love this. We love this for us. Okay. At the end of the round, mark spaces get ignited for three. Sure. It's kind of awkward. Shift the card. Don't have another one. It's weird. I kind of need to, like... I could, like, do rewinds. Because I can't move first. That's the awkward thing here. And this is an exile. I mean, I'm definitely going to be playing that card. So I kind of want to... Ah, it's annoying. I kind of want to do that first, and then we play that card, put it back in. And move out to the side, I suppose. Both situations suck there, obviously. On start, turn start, lose 3 HP. Movement also reduces your burning by 2. Oh! Well, that's pretty cool. Welp. 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 I just got rid of a movement card too, man. Come on. Or, uh, I, I mean, a uh, strike card, not a movement card. I just got rid of a strike card. 
I can indifference, but then it's like I can't move after that anyways. Move to ignite five. I'm hoping that you just move into my face. It sucks, because, like, I, I know that if I draw something, it's not going to matter. Okay, so move two means move towards you two. I have to... I have to stay here in the middle of this fire. That's so bad. All right. Oh, that's so bad. We are going to stagger. Okay. We can block, but I don't think that that's going to block the uh, fire. If I were to take an educated guess, we don't have an enough. I don't need to worry about that. Okay. I don't mind getting the fishing net back on top. Cosmic Shard, Cosmic Shard. I definitely don't mind getting another rewind on top. Cosmic Shard, Cosmic Shard. Oh, 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 that felt good. Starweave Scarf. Play an attack ability attack to draw two cards. This is such a cool artifact. What? If this card is exiled, draw two cards. Exiled. Do 16 arcane damage. This card can't be exiled. Instead, it gains eight damage. Yo. Hmm. Ah, but movement's going to be tricky. Movement's going to be tricky. This is a rare. I'm taking it. Hopefully we have something that lets us get exile business going on. Um hit me with a hit me with an event. Lose 3 maximum stagger to upgrade a signature card or starting curio. I need to know what that means. Every time the enemy is staggered, draw three cards. Stagger seven? Stagger... So this does three stagger and ten more damage. This is really cool. This is smart. This is clever. I like this. Every time the enemy is staggered, draw three cards. What is it right now? Two cards. Uh, interestingly enough, it seems like maybe you don't get HP. Could be wrong. God. That's so much stagger. That darn near does it by itself. Alright, Dark Matter. We can move in. God, the first turn is always the really awkward part, it seems. Because they, they always start out so far from you, so you always have to go for the kind of, like, gap close early. Seven damage, move one, create a monolith. Uh, don't mind that. So we just move in. We put this here. Because why not? Indifference just to see what we get. We might as well play the charge. It's also a stagger. Might as well play it through the fire. Exsanguinate. We heal up a little bit too. This guy sucks. <laughs> Wait, why is... Oh, this is, it's just like that way because it's been upgraded like crazy. 24 damage. It's kind of, that guy's so bad. I guess we fought an elite. 10 damage, stagger one on hit, create a monolith next to you. Push five, gain an arcane, exert two, exile. I don't think I want these right now. I don't think I do. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is the boss. Take me in here to just heal up before the boss, right? 
Hello! Matriarch of the Sanguine Coven. Do 14 damage, move to do 6 damage. Do a little bit of dark matter. Um. Again, do we want these in our... I, I don't think we want those in our deck. Oh, wait. Did those, those count? Oh, no. We got the Starry Scarf. Attack, ability, attack. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, we just drew a whole lot of stuff that is good for no reason. All right. Um, I'm definitely going to fishing net move in. Boom. Attack. Ability attack. I don't really want to move here first. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's... I mean, that's just nuts. Okay, we put it behind so that she can't run away. I don't even know if that's a thing that they care to do. Move two, do five damage, stagger three. Okay. So we could go for this attack, ability, attack. Attack, ability, attack. Vicious Strike. We draw again. We can Vicious Strike yet again. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, we're going to take a hit, but, like, not even. <laughs> we don't even really. So, Fishing Net first, of course. That just staggers you. Um, vicious Strike has gotten really silly. Attack. Ability. Okay, there. Attack. We draw our vicious strike. Oh, my lord. We made a freaking well-oiled machine, man. Gain 20 HP. 20... Max HP? No. Add a divine card. Beta art card. Range 2 for every shadow in play. Ignite 1. Draw 4 cards. Exert 3. These are divine... Ooh, ignite. Ooh, ignite does not apply burning. Instead, it does arcane damage equal to three times its value. Okay. That's really good. That was a ritual. What is this? If one or fewer cards were played last turn, on turn start, gain one stamina. I feel like they're... Oh. That is so Slay the Spire, this right here. Um, I gotta say, I gotta say, I'm really impressed by this. The, there's some, like, the. I, I'm trying to put my finger on what I'm trying to say here with the visuals. Because I don't want it to come across as rude. Because the visuals are really good. They're really good. There's something about it. I think it's just the fact that there isn't the kind of, like, idle animation style visuals and maybe that's just because it is a demo i know that people are probably going to be commenting on that like it really does feel like you are moving a piece around a game board which for me personally i don't really care because like i said this feels like a really really interesting and deep board game like card game deck builder uh, and I and I love it for that. Like it's doing a lot of really cool things with the card design, and looping in the kind of grid-based tactics with the deck building in fun ways that I haven't seen in a lot of other roguelike deck building turn-based tactics games, of which I've played a lot at this point. This one has some of the most interesting card design. Uh, the card design is really really cool. The simp like the uh, core basic mechanics are very simple. Uh, if I were to say one one thing that I would suggest to do is honestly a compliment to the game. 
I think that you need to have a card in your starter deck that proves that the cards are going to get cooler. <laughs> like, I know that you obviously, you have your, your starting character who's got the two, like, signature cards, which I love that idea. I love that mechanic. I think um, maybe leaning into a way where each of the signature cards could be upgraded, like, upgraded into different ways, I think, could be kind of fun as well. So you could kind of lean in specific directions a little bit more like maybe the anchor does you know 30 damage but loses the stagger like something like that i mean he's the first guy it could be a basic card or the you know it stays with 10 damage but it does three stagger like and you can kind of go down those certain archetypes like are you using this as a free heavy damage attack more or are you using this for the stagger more and the same with like the net you could have it gain the seven stagger and keep the same movements or you could have it you know, hey, what was I going to say? Yeah, seven stagger, keep the same movement, or you could have it be like a two movement. And I don't know, I think that could be really fun as well. I, I think that that could be really cool. Obviously, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of characters. I'm babbling, but that's just because I'm actually really interested in this game. Like, I actually think it's really good. Um, and it's like, it, it's such a strange thing, because it feels weird to say don't judge it by its cover, because the art is good. And the visuals are good, but it's about like the um, the moment to moment visual polish in combat. The UI is great. A lot of it's great. The sound effects are good. If a bit, you know, quiet could be a little bit punchier, stuff like that. Uh, but as far as a demo goes, this has me absolutely hooked. Like I really, really like the car design and I uh, would be happy to play more. Alas, alas though. Uh, one okay. One last thing. I want to see what the second character in the demo. What is their starter cards? Uh, direct range two. Do three arcane damage two times, and then ignite for two. Run is a two energy move two card. Can we see how it upgrades? I don't think so. Uh, whenever you add a card to your deck, gain ten insight. You have the option to banish two cards in the lantern. Okay, that's really fun. It's, it's quite different. Quite quite different. But I guess these are the cards that would be the um, the ones that are supposed to say, hey, I promise you the cards are going to be cooler. But I think it is just that Strike, Move, and Trudge are quite boring, but it doesn't take too long to get it to be the you know an interesting deck. But alas, that's just my only thing. It's like, you got some really cool cards. I don't know what, what I would suggest to do there. Maybe just showing up front that you're going to be in for a treat if you stick stick around because i think a lot of people are used to roguelike deck builders not having as interesting of cards as this thank you for watching though check out the channel roguelike some more every single day my name is retromation that's what i cover thank you thank you and i will see you next time Bye bye